Bring a bottle. I teach him color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one-fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I'll give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweep it, you maggot. I'll cut you down! puppy and slink back to your kennel you haven't the metal for my brand of madness Robert! welcome aboard Kenway it's prizes plunder and adventure ahead are you game out of my way Ben raise a glass to freedom lads here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure to a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plum duff. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! Uh, uh. 
put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I should have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly, I'm bloody glad. <laughs> <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around, taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Ken. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. 
It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. ¡Vamos a cogerte! ¡Ah! ¡Revisad los bosquetes y las pistolas! 